All right, so you were on the left, and professional golfer, PG Tour winner, Nick Taylor is on the right, okay? So if we take a look at Nick for a moment. You get all stretched out. Uh, well, I mean, I think your address posture is fine. That's not an element at all my concern, okay? We're going to look at him a couple, couple different ways. This line represents the average within his pelvis that goes down to the ground, so we can look at that from above. Right, and then we can take a look at where he starts. And this is this is the biggest thing for you, okay? This is where his pelvis starts, and I'll show you yours in a second. So his pelvis is rotating around a pretty nice center, or you'd see more swiggle there, right? And I can go into a perspective mode, and I can show you like a variety of views on that, right? So this is a pretty good one here. Okay. Now as I go through this, Nick's motion, you can see it. Look, Look at the, the, the dimension, dimension between the, the vertical line that represents his right baby toe and his, and his hip. Okay? Yeah. So, so he rotates his pelvis within that vertical, kind of like I should do with David Frost. Right? And then watch where his pelvis goes. See the, the, the lateral motion? And then the unwinding component, right? Okay. So when I move this is huge, uh, I need to get it in my mind. This forward movement, when it even comes up to the maximum point, it's right. very swing, yeah. he is already in line. Right. So, so we can see it, you know, very, very different. different. So, so you're moving your pelvis differently today, which yeah. is nice, right? And, and then there's, there's some, there's some motion, mm -hmm. and then you can see it stalls out. Okay, so yeah. if I overlay you guys, guys right? So I'm going to put you two right on top of them right here. And then take you both back to the dress. Okay. And then I'll make, um, we'll just kind of go through this together here. So you guys are literally on hitting the same ball right on top of each other. So an interesting, let me check that last one out here, an interesting left foot move. So it's giving a little bit of a funky read here. The left foot, your left foot's not doing that. We'll look at another one. But just verifying it, but your pelvis, right? So your pelvis is moving forward. Right, so if I take yours, and then I go in and I go to transparency, and let's see here. back up to, I mean, you can see where, you know, where he is and where you are. See how much farther back you are than him? See, like there's your butt, not unwound, right? And he's well, you know, way more forward. And that's extension, okay? So as I kind of work into this position, and I'll move the club a little farther along and we'll see what happens, right? So you see the elbows separate. Because you, you have no choice. choice. You've taught yourself to do that so you don't smash the ground. Mm -hmm. Right? So, so if I take his and I make him fade away, right? So let me take you guys both to impact. Okay, and you're getting the club on the ball recently, no doubt. But you've got to do so by you know, managing your elbows, right? I really don't want to have to manage your elbows. You know, so see how his arms can stay long. Right? So he's, he's got, got he's just got, got the ability to extend more than you do. Yeah. Right? And the extension I'm referring to isn't the arms, it's the body. Yeah. Right? His body is extending. Your body is, you know. So, so see where his, where his head is yeah. compared to your head? Yeah. Right? You start to see this? Yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of the visual I showed you with those pros earlier, right? So, so we pick another swing. Let's go to captures. And you hit a couple for me. You know, good speed. Oh, I hit one, by the way. Under, under your name, okay. And load, load this in. in. So, so there's two of them here. I'll turn them off for a minute. And we'll look at this face on. And we'll zoom out a bit. And we make it full. You know, so this, if I put on a you know, head level, we're going to see 
some emotion that right, we're, what we're really looking for, my friend, is learning how to extend ourselves, funds under us, head back with a couple of straight arms. Yeah. Right? Like that's a critical behavior. Okay. So you, you can see that finish. Okay. If I turn Nick's finish back on here, okay, and I go side by side. See how his, his, his arms kind of shoot it into a long condition, condition right? Yeah. Because, because the center, center of motion, you know, it's, he's, he's actually he's actually re helping, helping to offset all the momentum that's being delivered, yeah. right? right? And, and so, so this is the big speed pressure for you. Is that, that you know, you're, you're not snapping the chain out, right? You, you get, get ahead of it. I mean, it's not. I mean, you hit some good shots. There's no question. I just want to see you be able to create the speed he can create, right? And Which I'm physically able to actually absolutely. I hinder myself, myself by these movements. Yeah, yeah. No, no, there's no, no question. question right? Teach me the proper movement, please. Right, right. No, no, we will. <laughs> okay, so I made, made my point here, yeah, right? Yeah, now let's, let's go, go into club, club only, okay? okay so let me turn this off. And then let's go to captures and then we'll go to. Yeah. And, 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 and then I say it's easy going on the mat 